Hey everybody, I hope you guys are healthy and safe. Isn't it funny how life moves in cycles and that everything comes full circle? So about four and a half years ago, before I was a YouTuber, when I was still a tech journalist, I was invited by a company named Enrio to go test out the prototype augmented reality glasses. At the time, I thought the glasses were pretty cool, but nowhere near ready. A few months later, another company named Rokid reached out to me to do basically the same thing, to test the brand new prototype AR glasses. And I wrote for Forbes at the time, I thought Rokid's prototype was a little bit more practical because it didn't need a standalone box to process the visuals. And the overall pair of glasses were a little bit lighter and thinner than Enrio's glasses. In the four years since, both Enrio and Rokid have released commercial AR glasses that have been very well received. And just last month, I made a video talking about Enrio's AR glasses and how much I like them. And then now, Rokid has reached out to me to test their new pair of glasses. And just like four years ago, I think Rokid's pair of glasses are a little bit more practical and also lighter and thinner too. So this is the Rokid Max. It will go on sale worldwide with an official retail price of 439 US dollars. But I have a discount code in the description that will knock $20 off the price so you can get it for 419 US dollars. So the Rokin Max works just like any other pair of AR glasses that I've tested. You plug this into a smart device like an iPhone, Android phone, tablet, laptop, Nintendo Switch or Steam Deck and you will immediately get a personal screen that floats in front of your face and it is a large immersive display. You know other AR glasses can do this. The Rokid Max does it a little bit better and it brings several other new features that surpasses the competition. So first is that the screen that projects in front of my face is simply larger than everybody else's. The Rokid Max can pump out a screen that's equivalent to having a 215 inch screen positioned about 6 meters or about 19 feet away from me. This is a 50% display size increase over the previous Rokid glasses which I never tested and also slightly bigger than the Enrio Air's 205 inch screen. The Rokit Max can also display visuals at 120 hertz refresh rate. So that means when you plug the glasses into a device that can support 120 hertz refresh rate, like a Galaxy Z Fold 4 or a new 2023 MacBook Pro, you will get full 120 hertz resolution. The animations will look more fluid than when you're wearing another pair of glasses. The Rokit Max also has fully adjustable diopters for each individual eye. So people with slight vision problems like nearsightedness, they won't need to wear contacts or a pair of glasses before they put these up because you can just adjust the dials to fix the vision within the Rokit Max itself. Now I hate to brag, but I have perfect vision. I don't need to wear glasses or contacts at all. So this feature is of no use to me. But my girlfriend has nearsightedness, so she would appreciate being able to wear these glasses without first needing to put on contacts. Another upgrade which I already mentioned is that the Rokit Max is thinner and lighter than other pair of glasses out there. The Rokit Max weighs only 75 grams, and this part right here, it measures only 18.5 millimeters in thickness. This is a little bit thinner than the Enreal Air's 20.5 and also significantly thinner than the TCL Next Wear S's. This thinner profile simply means that when I wear the glasses, they don't stick out from my face as much if you're looking at me from the side. The Rokit Max also has better, fuller directional speakers. Now I've worn these glasses along with other pairs to watch the same videos as a test and I can vouch that the Rokit Max's speakers do sound fuller, not necessarily louder, but everything sounds a little bit more fuller with more depth. Okay, so the Rokin Max is connected to my MacBook, which is playing audio right now. So I'm gonna bring my Bluetooth mic over to the speaker for you to hear. There are three more areas where the Rokin Max one-ups the competition. These glasses support voice commands if you're using Rokin's built-in app. Meaning you can use your voice to navigate a menu instead of needing to tap on the phone or press a button on the glasses. Rokit's AR app also has real AR games that you can download and play. 
and they make use of the 3DOF head tracking for some truly AR entertainment. Finally, these glasses can also display 3D content with the press of a button. Of course, you will need to have compatible 3D videos on your phone too, but it works. Add it all up and we have the most feature packed pair of AR glasses yet. But let's take a step back and look at overall hardware. So overall hardware is going to be similar to like the Emreal Air or the TCL Nix Wear S. So the entire glasses, it's plasticky. But I do like that the arms of the glasses have a little bit more flex than the other pair of AR glasses that I've worn in the past. So that means they should be able to fit a wider range of head shapes. Like if you have a really wide head, you won't feel the clamp because these open pretty wide and they're quite flexible. The nose pad is comfortable with thick cushioning and they're removable and interchangeable. And with the package, you will get a second pair of nose pads. This display uses a technology known as bird bath optics, meaning the visuals are not being blasted directly to your eyes. In fact, the Roket Max is triple certified by TUV Rhinan for low blue light, flicker free, and eye comfort. Now, obviously, I can't show you what I see on the glasses directly on camera, so the best I can do is stick a phone behind the glasses to show you that visual is indeed plain. But just take my word for it, the content looks absolutely immersive. 1080p resolution is sharp enough that you can't spot any individual pixels still. And if you wear these glasses with a lens cap to cover the front and you're in a dark room and you're watching a nice video, it is truly immersive. It is like having a floating cinema screen right in front of your face that covers almost your entire field of vision. These glasses can pump out visuals at up to 600 nits of max brightness. So that means if you're using it in a bright environment right now, you can still see the visuals. But anytime you're in a dimmer environment, you can adjust the brightness by hitting the physical switch here or by using voice commands. As mentioned earlier, connection between the Rokit Max and your device is made via a Type-C to Type-C cable. I've been wearing the Rokit Max for the past two weeks in Thailand and Hong Kong. I particularly love wearing them when I'm watching movies on the sofa or on the bed because then I don't need to hold up a phone in front of my face or have a laptop on my lap. I can just sit back and just have the screen playing directly where my head level is at. This head level aspect is important because I do a lot of work off a laptop and this allows me to work off my MacBook with a screen in front of my face too. So this is better posture, better ergonomics. I don't have to crane my neck down to look at the laptop screen because this laptop position is actually not healthy for your neck and back. And if you do this every day, eventually you will feel the consequences. So it's good to have better ergonomics. You can use the Rokit Max as a straight up screen mirroring device, but you can also use Rokit's companion app, which allows you to open multiple windows at once and map them on a real world space. So you can, for example, have a YouTube video playing right here and Instagram right here. So you can scroll through Instagram while having a YouTube video playing on the side. It's like having multiple TVs, but instead of a living room, it is in a virtual space that floats in front of your head, that moves along with your head movements. The app is also where you can find a list of games to download and play. Ultimately, the Rokit Max is a major upgrade over the Rokit Air from 2021. And it's also a little bit better than the Unreal Air, which I love so much. Now, to be fair, the Unreal Air came out last year. So this is last year's product and the Rokit Max just came out right now. So maybe it's not the most direct fair comparison and who knows, maybe Unreal will come back later this year with a new pair of glasses that matches or surpasses the Rokit Max. The point I'm trying to make is that AR glasses are no longer just a concept. They are consumer ready products that are ready for prime time. And right now we have multiple brands competing by releasing products that one up each other. And like I always say, when brands compete, we the consumers win because we're only gonna get better and better products. And right now, the Rokit Max are the new best pair of AR glasses on the market right now. So anyway, that's about it for this video. I hope you enjoyed this content. If you liked it, please consider subscribing to my channel. It will help me a lot. That's it for now. Thanks for watching.